Hello and welcome. Today we'll be taking a look at mob grinders using pistons as per request and as per my first ideas whenever I got the piston mod. I um, I, re I really wanted to make something like this but um, since it's been requested I pushed it up to the top of my list of things to do. So first we'll take a look at a couple ultimately unnecessary traps and then finally we'll take a look at a trap that uses pistons as the primary kill method and is pretty good at it. So the first one we're gonna take a look at is really just a lava trap but the mobs are propelled in with pistons and the door is blocked off with pistons. So we're just going to flip the switch which will unpower the pistons and release the mobs. Flick. Any spiders that are trapped inside there will hit this cacti as they go by because I have one water block right there. And that one water block is ma making sure that everything is getting pushed beside the cactus. While any spiders will climb the pillar and get killed on the cactus. And then we have the zombies, because I chose a zombie spawner for this example. Flowing down. They just uh, are being punted into this lava trap, which is being held up by a sign and a trap. Or maybe not. So it's really not necessary considering lava traps really do just this already. But it's kind of fun seeing zombies getting punted into the lava trap. And next we have the fun room, as I like to call it. And this trap is basically just a bunch of pistons and pressure plates that use gravity for killing mobs. And now you can't really collect the drops so it's kind of you know it's just for screwing around but here we have a zombie that's going to enter here and just to speed up this process I'm gonna annoy it a bit but then it just sort of gets launched up and it dies that way very simple concept I've used this time one since if it's a zombie spawner you don't need two and I was just demonstrating over there but if you just have one it's good enough to hold back zombies and any other two tall mobs and then over here we have the final trap which uses suffocation with pistons so I'm just going to release the mobs Flick. I have three spawners in there, a zombie, a skeleton, and a spider spawner. And uh, once they start generating, we can see how this works. Remember that you have to be close if you're by a spawner in order for mobs to spawn. And the opposite is true for grinders. Made from towers and such. See, everything just passes by that cactus except for spiders whenever we get a spider in there. Mobs line up. They're just shoved in. See we have a spider over there. The mob suffocates from the dirt. And then the trap is reset for the next line of mobs while any spiders are killed on this cactus. Because they're too wide and the opening on the side is only one wide. So here we have another zombie, some skeleton, another spider. And when the spiders die on this you can see some string down there 
you can actually click their string so it's not as if you're losing any drops this way unless the string does hit the cactus which actually is somewhat somewhat rare ish I actually have another side chamber that uh, a skeleton happened to jump into but you don't really need this this is just for for a uh, demonstration and what I've done is down here at our collection area I've set up another switch that when flipped will push a piston this way out of it will pull the piston back and push a piston this way that way mobs will have no choice but to be pushed into this area where they will flow down into our fun room so you can redirect mobs or items wherever you want using the pistons as well and to show how this works basically I just have a bit of redstone that is activating the piston here and then after it's activated it also sends that charge down a line through a bunch of repeaters to delay them just sends it down see there's the power it's going down around down another line through a few more and then it powers it to reset it then the charge goes back down and pushes the block back into place so it gives the mobs just enough time to die and then just enough to time to line back up for another suffocation round another round of glorious fun with dirt blocks so this one takes a lot of redstone as compared to a lot of other traps but it is definitely interesting and if for some reason you happen to have access to a lot of redstone but you don't have access to lava for example on an SMP server you may have your lava disabled and then your only choices are things like cactus traps and gravity traps and maybe sunlight toasting traps and such but this offers a bit more in terms of maybe reliability for killing all types of mobs and you can have as many of these pistons as you want suffocating the mobs I just have two because it's kind of unnecessary for this particular amount of mobs to have any more than two and just remember that whenever you have dungeons you have to be close as I've said you have to be um, I believe about 16 away maybe I'm completely wrong on that I think it's 16 though 16 at minimum so make sure that your drop zone if you're using this under a dungeon is coming back around dropping the items and back into your base which should be very close to the spawner so uh, if you have any other suggestions for videos or requests I may bump it back up to the top of my to-do list even if I had already planned on doing something of the like I will be doing the TNT video eventually the TNT cannons video just um, it's kinda low priority right now since it's something that everyone has practically figured out and I need to do something a bit special for it and that would take a while to set up so until next time